What's up everybody? Uh, I'm really happy. Today is Friday for me. It's a holiday weekend. I got four days of work left next week. Um, this is my last day in the office. I'm super stoked. Today I'm gonna be talking about my trip to Southeast Asia and I'd be happy for you guys to recommend anything. I'm gonna go over some of the places I'm visiting and what kind of spurred my interest and, and got me to this point and why I'm taking this trip uh, to Southeast Asia, I guess. So anyway, for starters, um, what really got my interest in wanting to do this was I had a vacation earlier this year to the Virgin Islands and it was during a time when I was really depressed and when I was there, I was just like happy. The people on the island, they love to refer to life as uh, island life and uh, they were a lot happier and they were happier with less, I noticed. Uh, despite being a U.S. Um, U.S. Uh, territory, it's actually very like second worldish almost. There's uh, one of the islands doesn't even have any stoplights, and people like in general are just happier with less out there, you know. And I've I've come to learn. I mean, it's it's been very hard, and I'm not saying I'm anywhere near that, but I've learned to to understand that money doesn't make me happy, and you know that's why I'm quitting my job, right? So. That sort of got my interest in exploring other options outside of Philadelphia, um, Plymouth Meeting Area, which is where I grew up, and just sort of expanding my mind to just anything, really. I don't have a girlfriend, I'm single, I'm not tied down, I have money. So that got me exploring all kinds of options, anything and anywhere. So I did a little research, couch surfing, Airbnbs, hostels, and just let the idea sort of marinate my mind for a couple days. And it wasn't long before Southeast Asia was just the perfect answer. There are beautiful exotic places in Southeast Asia. I'm huge into the beach thing. I'll be honest, I'm not huge into Europe. Um, I know, you know, solo backpacking and stuff is a huge Europe type of thing. But I wanted a more tropical beachy type thing. Uh, another reason why I picked Southeast Asia is I'm huge into Eastern philosophy. I love meditation. I love acupuncture. I love their... Um, their ethic of, you know, being here and present in the now. They are not so caught up with the Western culture where, you know, we, we do our nine to five job, we work 50 hours a week, we work 60 hours a week, we work 70 hours a week, we work, we work, we work, we get two weeks of vacation. And another great thing about Southeast Asia is it's so cheap. Uh, the hostels I'm staying at are like $10 a night and they look like two, $300 hotels that you would stay at here. It's insane. From an economic standpoint, it's like you can't beat it. And Southeast Asia is just really far away, and I don't have a job, so why not go somewhere where you're probably not going to go on your average vacation with friends or family? Like, it's hard to get out there. The flight's like 20 hours or something. I forget. I have a layover in Beijing. It's a long flight, so fuck it. I don't have a job. I'm just going to do it. So I'll be honest if I said I wasn't a little scared. I am solo backpacking. I'm not going with anyone. Would love it if a friend met me out there. Um, my sister keeps mentioning she might get around to coming out. Doubt you are. Hope you do, sister. So, when am I leaving? I'm leaving September 11th. So I was doing research and uh, all the matrices and the, you know, cheap flight finders were pointing me towards this, like, this one day to fly out of. And I didn't realize it at first. And after a day of doing research, it was like, oh, it's pointing me towards September 11th. No wonder why it's so cheap. And on top of it, I was changing my flights between Philly and New York. And New York was like substantially cheaper, like a hundred bucks cheaper to fly out. So I'm flying out of nine on 911 from JFK. Hopefully I don't die. Uh, I don't, I'm not a big believer in that kind of thing. If I die, I die. You know what? You know, it was meant to be. I'm not going to let um, terrorists, bomb explosions, issues wherever you go. You know, you can't live life thinking your plane's going to crash and burn and die. I mean, I'm not telling you to walk into a pit of fire, but you know, live life a little bit. So my general itinerary, I'll go over it. Um, I have a couple of flights to catch uh, while I'm out there in a couple countries. I'm going to Thailand first, then to Indonesia, then to the Philippines, and then back home. I'm spending about seven weeks total out there. I land in Chiang Mai, Thailand. I land near the top of Thailand. It is very, it is known for being a little bit more calmer. It's not the big beachy type thing that you would normally see out there. I'm staying in a temple for my first three nights with a group of meditators. It's a group meditation thing. So I'm really excited to see it. Uh, it's also where a lot of the elephant, I've heard great things about the elephant nature park. It's like, they have two types of elephant parks out there. It's the, the elephant nature park where it's like you wash them, you clean them, 
you kind of observe them for being like, you know, these big, giant, powerful, great creatures. And then you have the ones where you actually ride them and they're viewed as like, you know, negative. You're not supposed to ride them. Um, you get all that backlash on the internet and stuff. So I'm gonna go to the one called Elephant Nature Park where you wash them, you clean them, you feed them, you can stay overnight. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. And some of my friends make a little fun of me for this because I'm trying to like reflect and meditate and like find my soul out there. But I want to try and go to the full moon party. If you've never heard of the full moon party, it is once a month on the full moon of the, the month. And it's near the bottom of Thailand actually. And it's like Ibiza or Ultra. It's just ridiculous. I like EDM music. I like festivals. So I'm going to try and make it down there for that. It's actually a few days after I land. So I'm going to have to get there in a hurry. It's like 24 hours south of where I'll be, you know, staying initially. So hopefully I make it. If I don't, oh well. My goal after the full moon party, if I make it, is to go back towards the middle of Thailand and visit Bangkok. Check out all the, you know, the industrial world there. It's very, it's a, I hear it's more city-like. There's not a whole lot of like scenic things, but I'm sure it's got beautiful, um, you know, I'm sure it's a beautiful city. Um, so I don't know really what to expect there. Then I'll be going down to Fuck It. Uh, that is more beachy-like. It's more, more your vacation type feel. Uh, James Bond Island, where they film one of the James Bond movies. I'm really hoping I can catch that. I want to check that out. Um, looks dope. Google James Bond Island. It's like the coolest looking island ever. I also would love to check out the tigers. I'm honestly, I'm a little bit of a, a wimp. I don't know if I'll get a picture with the big tiger. I also don't know if like that's like considered the same thing with the elephants, where if you ride them, it's not seen as very cool. Um, I definitely love to play with baby tiger. I think I can handle that. Um, we'll see about the big tiger. Maybe you guys could tell me. Do you guys think it's uh, like bad to like go in with a big tiger from like an ethics standpoint? Not an ethics standpoint, but like, you know what I mean. So we'll see about that. Then, um, after my trip down there in the beachy areas and stuff, after I get finished up, I have a flight to catch, I think it's on October 10th, out of Thailand, from Phuket It to Bali, Indonesia. And I've just, Bali looks beautiful. There's like so many things to do in and around Bali. There's rice fields, there's Komodo Dragon Park, there's like beautiful beaches, temples, you name it. I can't even begin to tell you how like amazing some of the pictures I've seen looked. Uh, so I'm really excited to check stuff out there. I spent about two weeks there before flying out somewhere towards the end of October before Halloween to Manila, Philippines. Um, I haven't really done research yet on there because it's kind of far away. It's towards the end of October and uh, the whole premise of my trip is, you know, I have these flights, but you know, if anyone tells me to go somewhere and visit it and check it out, you know, I'm free. You know, I only have to make my flights. That's it. Um, other than that, I've, like I said, I've only planned the first three nights of my trip. So. If someone tells me to go check out Vietnam or Cambodia, I'll go walk, bus, train, ferry to Cambodia, you know, who cares? Uh, so we'll see what happens when I get out there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do exactly in the Philippines yet. Anyway, as far as like my living situations, I've looked up couch surfing. It's a great website. Compare it to Airbnb, it's basically like, I don't want to say you're staying on someone's couch, you might, but they, it's usually kind of like an Airbnb where the host is actually there kind of with you. They want to kind of like engage. It's more of like a soul searching type website as opposed to Airbnb is like strictly vacations, you know. Cow surfing is free. Uh, it takes a little bit longer to plan your trip because you're supposed to look at their profiles, you know, see if they're a match for you kind of, you know, see if it's the type of person that you'd want to live with for a couple days. Um, it's a cool website. Check it out if you're ever looking to travel. Like I said, try to plan a couple weeks ahead of time. So I think I'll be staying with one or two people on there. Airbnb I'm using, um, that's always great, and HostelWorld.com, one of the best hostel sites. My friend David, who loves to travel, uh, made me uh, aware of that website. It's great. The hostels out there, like I said, really all the places are like dirt cheap. It's like 10 to $20. You do stay dormitory style in a, in a hostel where you're with other people. But I think it's important for me, though, to be with some other people, you know, get a different perspective on the world. You know, I don't... At first I thought I was going to go alone and it was just going to be this like meditation trip where I just solely think about what I want to do and just mm, zen it out and, and I'm still going to do that, don't get me wrong, but I want to get other people's perspectives. I wanted to travel somewhere that was like second, third world as countries, so like it opens my eyes a little bit, you know. I don't really realize what I got here, I've lived, you know, I've lived a privileged life. Another great website when you're traveling, my friend David also made me aware, it's called Rome2Rio.com, Rome2, like the number two, Rio. And it just shows you like every uh, possible way to travel from A to B. Just type in like, 
I don't know, Philadelphia to New York, and it'll give you every possible train, bus, flight, whatever, and show you the cheapest route and what websites you can go to book things. It's like, it's really cool, and it's super easy and modern looking. It's like, looks kind of like Airbnb. Very nice, modern looking website. You type in A, you type in B, you type in when, and bam, it gives you all the options. Uh, great website. Another thing I wanted to share with you guys, actually, while I'm out there, you guys already know I'm huge into reading. I read a book every week or two. I've ordered a shit ton of books. When I changed my mindset from entrepreneur and business and money to happiness and all this other stuff first, I went out and bought like every major top book on happiness. A lot of my book reviews in the next couple weeks are going to be on that. So I wanted to share just a quick, like, these are all the books I'm reading. Like, I've ordered every fucking top book that was like on Amazon. Um, people that recommended me books, my buddy Paul Bo recommended me a couple books. Um, you know, a lot of people had great recommendations, and I'm just getting started, but like, for real, take a look at these books. Like, I've ordered every single book that was like, popular. So, I'm a huge reader, I take it seriously. I'm gonna try and read a bunch of these while I'm out there. I'm gonna try and carry like 10 or 15 with me, as many as I can fit in my bag. I think I'm gonna order a couple on Kindle as well. But, like I said, I'm huge into reading. I'll be sharing the book reviews over the next couple weeks of what I learned. I also just got my Hep A and Hep B shots. I know that's like a kind of a big thing out there. I'm a little scared about malaria, Zika virus, bullcrap. Um, I got mosquito repellent, so hopefully I'm alright there. Hopefully I don't die. I am a little bit picky on food. I know they got huge spicy food out there. I was watching um, Parts Unknown um, with, what's this guy named, Anthony Bourdain. They eat like pig brains and raw pig blood out there. Um, I'll try anything once. I am a little bit picky when it comes to food, but you know, I've learned to open my mind. So I'm down to trying anything once. While I'm out there, I'm also going to try to continue doing these videos. I will apologize ahead of time. I don't plan to bring my computer. I'm going to record the videos and they're all going to be in one shot. I'm going to try to keep between five and 10 minutes, but bear with me if you know, hopefully they're funny. They're going to be authentic. I'm going to hopefully, you know, meet some cool people, bring them into the videos. I'm probably going to be shooting these in hostels. I have no idea where I'll have Wi-Fi each night. I won't have cell phone service, but I'm going to try and continue to do this and keep all my social media and everything up to date and try to like, you know, keep you guys in the loop. Um, so like I said, continue to look forward to them. They will be literally out in the middle of who the hell knows where. So look forward to that. So anyway, uh, I got so much on my mind. I don't even know if I shared it all. Hopefully I caught it all. Um, uh, if you have any questions or you have any recommendations of where I should go or places to visit, I'd love to hear them. I've heard a lot of great recommendations from people and things already. So please feel free, comment, share, subscribe if you want to follow me while I'm out there. Give me a thumbs up. Hit me up on email, Facebook me. Like I said, I'll be alive out there, at least I hope. I have Wi-Fi. You can connect. It's great. Um, and I look forward to talking to you guys soon. We'll see what happens. Um, I love you guys all. And I will talk to you guys soon. I'll probably make another video before I actually leave. I don't leave till next Sunday, September 11th. So, like I said, love you all. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.